I saw a five-star review on Amazon about the book and the person who wrote it. I can't remember exactly, but it was something along the lines that this is for CEOs, for analysts, for techies, for everyone. Is that right? Is that, is that a good synopsis? It is. And I really wanted to inspire people, whether they were in just regular IT, whether they were in college and they were want to explore this, I want to inspire them. And I think that's what the first half does because you could be at an airport or an airplane reading the book. And I know I'm obviously I'm going to be biased, but it's just like, I, I've, I've reread it. Like it I, it, I just enjoy the stories and they're just cool, fun stories. It literally, they're spy stories, literally talking about spies. There's part on the U.S. too, just because I worked for the U.S. doesn't mean I excluded them. My publisher wouldn't let me because I did exclude them at the beginning. Uh, so I had to, you know, it's got all the big, the big players, countries and stories of, of things that took place. And it just really, really interesting. You know, I had to learn more about uh, nuclear, centrifuges than I ever thought I would to write this book because of Stuxnet in the US and Israel and Iran. And, you know, so, so it wasn't just cyber I had to learn about to write this book. I had to really dig in because I wanted to know everything. There were some, some crypto spy aspects to this that go with the NSA back into, um, you know, like the 50s and 60s. And, and a lot of that stuff was declassified. So I was able to read all that. And there was some amazing stories in there that I was just like, wow, this is cool. So and that sort of laid the foundation into where we go today with things. So anyway, stuff like that is in there. But yeah, this, the, the the aspect of I wanted like leaders to be able to, to look at this book and be able to understand it. I tried to write it um, in parts of it are very technical, but I tried to write a, a lot of it in a way that would be something that you know you could understand. So if you're a leader or decision maker and you have finding yourself facing advanced threats, I wanted you to know how do I think about this? What should my mindset be? What are the things that are going to be important? Um, and, and and how do I need to think about this as, as I move forward or or make decisions? So I, I tried to write yes, I, I tried to incorporate in that into every chapter, not just to be in the second half where it's it's uh, it's for, you know does a lot of talk that would help analyst, but it also is meant to, to take it to that next level where it can be actionable. You can make a plan. You can understand the relevant pieces to it. That's going to help a decision maker. Cause that's where, I mean, that's where I am in my career today. I'm, I'm at that more, the, the decision maker part. I still, because I love it. I, I, all the blogs and stuff that in reports I write right today, they're all free. They go out, my company just publishes them free. So I do that because right. I love to do it. It's really to get people excited and to teach analysts to be better analysts and to teach decision makers what they need to do and what they need to look at when it comes to dealing with what's probably going to be the worst day of their their career if they're dealing with this and you know since i've i've written this book i've actually gotten calls um, i'm not going to say the organizations but i've actually gotten calls um, from organizations from CISOs and CEOs on days where for, they just got hit by a major ransomware attack and their entire infrastructure is locked down and they don't know what to do. My company is not a ransomware response company. The fact that they're calling me on this day, you know, it tells me I, I again, not putting myself in the back, but tells me that I did a good job and it encourages me that I want to do more. I want to help them. But that, that that's my point is the book is, is definitely something that can be used as a tool and it can also be something that's used as just to get a really good understanding of cyber espionage and to enjoy reading the stories about it. Hello there. You've got a new a new person in the room. That's Tyson. So during the pandemic, it was just me, him, and my, my two boys. And, you know, they'd be downstairs playing video games or something. And he'd sit right here. And because I, you know, normally I, I used to work in a building every day, I'd have people to talk to. So I sit here and I he would just look at me <laughs> and I would bounce all my ideas and talk to him. People thought I was crazy. He's in my dedication to the book. He, he's in there because I literally, I talked everything out with him because talking it out helped me before I, I would write about it. Does this make sense? I know people think I'm crazy, but I talked to that dog. Uh, that dog knows more about cyber uh, intelligence probably than any other animal on the earth on earth. That's, that's brilliant. So we have him to thank for writing the book. Yep. <laughs> no, well, for you writing the book. No, it's um, no, it's brilliant. I um, want to help people who perhaps are struggling with leadership.